family and friends. I hope you are good. I hope everyone is good. Or did I say family and friends? We are all family here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I hope you're good. You are having a wonderful weekend and preparing for a beautiful week ahead. My name is Sissy, Cecilia, at Sissy. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time that you are watching, uh, you are coming to my channel, I talk about African spirituality and I would say your know, spirituality at large and as always uh, say not religion, spirituality. That is a totally different, two separate things. So yeah, we talk about spirituality here, African spirituality. I'm from Ghana and the tribe uh, Ashanti. So yeah, I talk about um, in Ghana we say Akom, and yeah, so that that is the typical Ghana Ashanti uh, traditional uh, belief. So if you're interested, please subscribe for me and always give me a thumbs up and join the the family. Okay, stay tuned. So uh, this week, uh, on our little chit chat, as we always do every week, this week I have it here, the agenda, the, yeah, I love this one. So this week we are going to talk about when your manifestation is yet to come, or when uh, you are... Um, manifesting something or your hope your um, expectation like you you are waiting for it and it's still not happening for you how it's hard you know we are not going to uh, sugarcoat it and we are not going to uh, Say other uh, otherwise. It's really uh, hard when um, something that you are waiting for, something that you are praying or you know, manifesting, uh, calling upon it, you know, and you deeply feel that it's rightfully yours and it's here. But you cannot have it yet in your physical realm. Like you, it's not yet here for you. Humans, and as humans, we cannot ignore uh, the deception that comes with that. The, the pain in the chest, that uh, doubt. We intend to uh, doubt ourselves a lot when that happens. We intend to yeah, doubt, question everything, and always find that uh, maybe we did something wrong. We didn't do everything right. That's why uh, it's not here. That's why uh, someone else is able to have it, but not us. No, you have done nothing wrong. You are manifesting, manifesting it correctly. Just that the time is not right. Your time is not yet. But that does not mean it's not going to come. It will come. It will happen for you. For your highest and divinest good. It will come to you. So let's all be a little bit patient. And keep being nice and calm to ourselves because when for instance uh, for example I will use myself as an example I will not hide it from you for a couple of months I'm struggling I've been uh, really in difficult situation financially you know um, work have not been the same you know um, my job, aside from the spiritual activities, um, it's not 
same as before and we get uh, the bills no matter how uh street or structure uh the budget is my needs are not me and that's really uh put a lot of worries like i'm really anxious uh, about that so lately and even before that i keep uh, manifesting you know financial help and it's not yet happening it's not yet here and yesterday i thought the solution that i saw as uh, the way out of this situation was right in front of me and I have been working on it for a couple of months for a couple of days Cop yeah and yesterday the results came up and I was not part of it and it was really hard that I break down in tears It was really um, overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. I was very uh, disappointed. And as the man, the first thing the man would do is go into uh, who to blame. What did I did wrong? Why was was why why was I not chosen? Why did I be in part? Because for me. That was the situation. Uh, that was the solution. That was uh, a way for me to find a stable income. A way for me to uh, to overcome this uh, situation difficulty that I'm in. So I was very disappointed. I was. Uh, I put a lot of things in doubt. But I'm sharing this with you. Also for you to know, no matter how uh, advanced you are, how good you are, how uh, it happens to us all. Uh, for the ones who have been practicing it from hundreds or thousands of years and from the one who is starting today, it happens. And it's part of the journey. And what I wanted to share uh, is that I was sitting on the ground, you know, the same place that uh, I was waiting for the result. And as I was crying and doubting or questioning everything, my mind just went in, into a, well done, Sissy. You did great. It's not time yet. It's time for those who have uh, made it to the um, to the finals. It's those who have um, been chosen. So uh, congratulate them. You know, be happy for them. Wish them wish them the best. Uh, hope the best for them. Believe the best for them, because yours is coming. Your opportunity is not to uh, was not yesterday. But it could be tomorrow and the day after. It could be in the morning or evening or the afternoon. And as I was crying and my brain just went to that mo uh, mode, I stopped crying and I said, yeah, I did all that was in my power. So if I was not, uh, if, um, it didn't happen. It's okay. And also it's okay to cry when you are disappointed. But it shows that the affirmation, the positive uh, energy that I've been sending out, the, um, the best thing uh, in my ability that I've been doing pays off. Because instead, normally I will cry then... Uh, for a couple of days or week, uh, I'll be uh, in a moody mood where I'll be angry at myself and everyone. But this time, it wasn't like that. Because I'm talking with you right now. <laughs> it 
it wasn't like that and I was happy so at night when I was uh, and even this morning when I was thinking about the things that I was able to do I was happy that it didn't uh, rain my day it didn't uh, it kind of did a bit yesterday though <laughs> but I was able to move on so what I'm trying to say is that uh, if you are starting or if uh, you you are disappointed you are um, the deception is here and like the difficulties that you are in is overwhelming you it's okay to cry but what energy do you put out there after the tears after you wipe up those tears after you wash up your face what energy are you working on are you going to continue with the tears uh the angry um the sorrow the sorrow energy are you going to continue with that or you are going to choose to see other way and in general we will see uh, we will say uh, the negative and the positive and for me you know some thought that we will consider uh, negative are not that negative because it's okay to be disappointed when you are manifesting something and it's not here or it's here but you're not it didn't happen for you you may uh, break down and it's okay there is nothing absolutely nothing wrong with that but and but you don't have to continue with the sorrow the doubt the um, that energy that's what you have to turn into okay this this and this and this didn't work maybe i need to be more specific maybe in that manifest that script that i keep uh, writing maybe i need to be more specific and also myself maybe this job is not really for me and i need to look deeper into it or maybe if i go into it right now it's not going to be the best solution for me so we have to put all into consideration so it's okay to be disappointed but what energy what vibe are you on after so that is what I wanted to share this week with you. So when your manifestation is not here yet here for you, or you are not seeing the results that you are looking for, or hoping for, it's okay to be down, but you need to quickly uh, move on to overcome it. Because you know manifestation keep it's manifesting every second is your thought your energy is manifesting so maybe you need to be a spe uh, specific on what you really want and if you have a idea a mentor uh, someone who can help you through it and fortunately for us there are a lot of videos on YouTube and also sometimes it's overwhelmed because there's a lot of them and everyone keeps saying something so maybe um, you need to pay attention to yourself you need to um, because what may work for me may not work for you so you can take some, uh, some tips some ideas from what I'm saying and put into your own ideas your own um, method so it will work for you so trust yourself, know more about yourself, learn to know more about yourself and trust your guides because you are never alone. You are never, ever alone and it's always happening for you. And as I said uh, last week, if it's happening for others, it will happen for you too. There is no way that others can uh have a good life and you will not have it you need to put your you need to position yourself into that position to receive it you need to um, be able to stop doubting yourself because self 
doubt, you know, uh, low self-esteem also can be a blockage when you are manifesting. So you need to know yourself and trust yourself and always, like, I, I, I like doing this to myself or hugging myself. It's a warm way of uh, nurturing yourself, nourishing yourself. It's not uh, only physical food, but sometimes you need to, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Like, it, it didn't happen, but it will happen for you. So yeah, family, that was all that I wanted to share with you. So, summarize. When your manifestation is not here, when disappointment, deception overwhelms you, your anxiety overwhelms you. It's okay to break down. It's okay to cry. But don't focus on that energy. You can say, thank you very much for proposing it to me. Like you are in tears, you are in anger mode, you are in your worried, anxious mode. You can say, oh... Thank you. Anxiety, thank you for proposing yourself to me. Thank you for coming this moment. But no thank you. I'm okay. I'm good. I am well. I am great. Thank you for letting me see the other choice, the other options that I have. Okay. <laughs> If I keep on, we're going to talk. So it's a little bit our chit chat of the week. So stay safe, stay blessed, my family. Love, 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 love you. Abundance and prosperity to you all. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Ayiko, money, yo, to all of you. Bye bye.